started. Testing. Testing. Very good. see me in the mirror but you can't see me but they can anyway so uh, earlier today I let me see can you see me uh, in this, I'm in the way okay I always have to do this let's stand up again and start over that's in the way all right so this over here how about all right so I didn't bring my zoom thing with me so I have to walk that up to the thing but uh, earlier today, I well, here first I need to place set this. So I need to set this here. Set that there. All right. And uh, you're far away, but you have the stereo microphones, which are right here in this box. Okay. What I want to show you is that earlier I up with my videos that I tried servicing this Iowa CS two three E Z. That's uh, Echo Zebra, okay? And it is a, I bought it from the, I bought it from Germany by mistake, thinking that uh, there weren't any more of the things available, or there weren't at that time. So this takes a, uh, a European plug, and it's plugged in, so let's turn on the, uh, well, hey, let's hit play on the cassette. Of course, nothing works because it's plugged in. So let's unplug it. All right. Oh, gosh. Well, <laughs> that's going in there. So now, that's playing. Um, we need to put it on tape. Need to turn the volume down. So there's the volume. I'm going to stop that. And now I'm going to put it on, let's see, what happened here? Oh, this is underneath that. All right. Okay. Now, this, what people don't understand about this model, is that it has a uh, YN via a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. Okay. What I want to show you is if you put it on radio, you flip this over from tape to radio, it says radio or auxiliary. I know you can't see it from way far away, but oh well. Okay, but if you unplug this, the radio will appear. This may be too low for you, but it is, you know, nearly nine o'clock at night here in mom's bedroom's the other side of the wall there, so I gotta keep it quiet, but uh, give it a bit more volume. Well, that's all the way back in this This does have a complete antenna, but I didn't raise it up, but there it is. Okay. So the radio works. And oh it's at night, so if you flip it over to shortwave one and let's raise the antenna completely. Okay. And uh, so alright, so in the radio mode and then you turn on your happy phone right turn this on and you go to your favorite um, come on now there it goes all the way to here go to my boombox directory and then play my test of test sounds right here so that some volume that for that little 
little bit. Let's go out of here. Let's go to what cartoons, Captain Scarlet. <laughs> go to something that's female sing. What's that? Breathless, the chorus. Sure, you've seen this before, right? The airplane coming in. That works, right? So, if you want to play your digital music like I have on my phone here, you can do so by plugging that in, and once you remove the this thing, the chord from the, this, it goes back to the radio. And if you flip it back from the radio to that, you can go back to, you know, taking your tape, putting your cassette in, and then hitting play. So that works. I don't want to sell that music because I've gotten in trouble with this, but this whole happy little video is not necessarily about this one here, except that it is for sale. Okay, let me turn this off. Turn that off. So that's off. Put this up out of the way. I'll put it uh, put it over here. Uh, put it there. Uh, the tape, the tape over here. Okay, there it is. Okay, so put this down. All right. That down. That. Put this down here. And this is off. Put this up over here. Okay. And then. This stay, don't go nowhere. Now, I want to bring this up to you and show this up to the camera real close. Okay, so this. Uh, hopefully you can see that if it focuses, it should focus. That I bought this back in 2015. It says there on the top. See that on the top? I didn't bring a flashlight when it's dark. Anyway, can I improve upon that? you can see it. Yeah. So it's, anyway, it's 2015. See that there? Okay. And then for you people here, it's, there it is. You see, yeah, you see that? 2015, okay? Haven't opened it since, right? So, without further ado, we can go back here and give it the, oh, the shake. open this way. And the reason why I'm opening this now is because I need the room because this radio here, which should be inside of here, is wait. That fits in there, but that's just too much box. And I need more room in here and not need this humongous box having this little tiny radio in here even though it's the right length. So that's why I'm unboxing this. And anyway, okay. So, without further ado, let me get my scissors, which I put over here. Okay. So, I've got two cameras going. I got my cell phone. I got the that over there going on. So, let's see here. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll open it from the bottom because. I want to just, uh, just get some more discussion at the bottom. Uh -oh. Okay, well, we have peanuts already. Okay, so we got as uh, recycle goes out tonight, and I want to maybe put this in the recycle. Okay. Oh my gosh! I taped the. This to that. Okay, there we go. Alright, well. You know, this is, uh, for those of you still listening, I still have about 18 or 19 more boxes after this to open that I haven't opened going back as far as 2012. But there's one there. And there's, anyway, they're all around here. Okay, so. This is, uh, here it is, okay, well, okay, you can just pull the, like this, you didn't put a whole lot of tape on this thing, 
and voila, there it is. All nice and pretty. Uh, oops, not missing anything. Um, the battery compartment is distressed. So here, well, okay, so he's got the got the. Uh, there's the power cord. Not that I need it because I have one already set up here. Okay, so this is a. Well, can I wait? Those are distressed. All right, he didn't put this on right. Oh well. No. Okay. Anyway, so there it is. Um, so let me. Let's see. Power cord's there, so that was all it's supposed to come is just the radio, and nothing else. So I'm not going to dig my hands all through that bubble wrap stuff, but I will bring this up here close and show it to you. So I'll figure out where to put this box. Okay, let's do that. So. cell phone stopped working so it ended somewhere so I still have the this is my backup okay, so here's the front of this right? here's the top okay. and then here's you know, that end this has a uh, world voltage it's set for 120 volts okay so that's a nice feature about this one it's got one of your front speakers for your door Closes the hinge is not broken, so that's good to know. Nothing on that end. Here's the battery compartment, and then here, if I get the thing up close, you can see. Uh, uh, hopefully, you can see where it says CS230 U as an umbrella. So that's what this model is, all right? And this also has on the front. It has tuning, stereo, mono. Once again, has your auxiliary uh, or when you have it on uh, FM or like that, it's your auxiliary. When you clip it on AM, which is unusual, it's just AM. Oh, that's because it's an extra shortwave. Right, so and then there's your headphone jack. It takes 60 batteries. So let's plug it in and give it a whirl. Here's a good plug, right? I got my stereo microphone. You couldn't hear me say all that because well, anyway. So the cord goes in here. So it's in the off mode, which is tape. We got radio. We got on FM. The controls need to be cleaned. Oh well. And then um, put it on tape. Get my tape. Get a tape. Any tape. Uh, here's a tape. The same tape. Let's hit eject. Let's hit rewind. Doesn't do anything. Oh, there it goes. Hadn't played in six years, so now it's rolling along with good torque. Line. Well, it's running along with good torque. Hit stop, hit play. And play is rolling along with fairly good torque. That's turning. Okay. See how I did that? Checked with my finger. Okay. Before I put my state finger. So now, let's, what is this? This is a different tape. Well, okay. B, A, we'll try A. See what they have on A. I can't remember what's on this tape. Well, the tape player works. Right, so, put that over. Hit play. Well, the 
as planned, but okay. Uh, so what happened to the tape I was playing in the other machine that I put over here? Well, there it is. So here's the the tape with the whatever on it. So that hit play. is off. Well, let's try the other side. So, hit play. I was having some playability issues. enough stereo for you. Okay, well, Alright, well. Okay, so it works, it's clean. It just needs to have the controls go through. And once I do have it running properly, uh, check the speed to check the belt and all that and clean it thoroughly throughout. And uh, enjoy. Okay. I may sell this model, I'm not sure at the present, because I really kind of like this model because it has the line in, as I showed previously with this model here. Okay. Now the only difference between the two is this has short wave with a four-way knob on top, whereas this one does not. Okay. But this one doesn't have, um, it's a 220-volt model, whereas this is a uh, world voltage model, but I may want to keep this. but. We don't know. All right, so good day, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I know I got all this one on tape and one file. File. The Facebook thing died. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Gotta go. Go to bed. Take the thing off the camera. All right. And uh, for those that watch my other videos. Yes, I was using this, but it died for some reason. So we were on Facebook with that, but 18 minutes. Okay, and then once again, I'll just pan this thing around the room here. That's been repaired. It's fixed. I'm waiting for one particular person to buy it, but if he doesn't buy it anytime soon in the next month or two, I may just outright sell it. But who knows? Okay. Um, I have one of those. It works, but the cassette deck is broken, kinda. It needs a tiny little, tiny little. Well, <laughs> if you've never seen one before, it takes a cassette deck. It's got a radio and all that, but one of the little C clamps that holds on the uh, spindle broke off. So I have the spindle, but I can't put the anyway. So. That's the issue with that. You find that little micro tiny C clamp, like two or th three millimeter in diameter, you can fix it. Okay? And then, um, let's see here. I also put out some other Iowas that I have. Let's see, I have the Iowa 200, the Iowa 300, the Iowa 210, the Iowa 230, and then I'm not going to pull these out, but I'm sure you can see them from the edge. Here is an Iowa 600. Here is an Iowa 660. I'm sure you can tell otherwise what they are, right? And then here's an Iowa that's toast. Here's another <laughs> Iowa up here. Double cassette. Another Iowa double cassette. What other Iowas do I have? I thought I had more Iowas. Uh, I can't remember. I think... Underneath there is another Iowa. I think that's not, that that is another Iowa. I just can't remember what model. Because I have just so many things everywhere, right? And then uh okay. Here's another Iowa. Okay. And I think that's about it for Iowas in here. Okay. Uh oh I have the I oh that's right. In the bedroom. Yeah, we can go in the bedroom. Let's go in the bedroom real quick. 
Okay, so we get out of here. Boom. Go in here. And what other Iowas do I have? I have the Iowa 880. There it is. And I have the Iowa... Uh, I have both the Iowa 770 and the other 770. You know, this one has uh, those tweeters up there and the other one has the round speakers in the front. Again, I'm not going to get these down because I just don't have enough room for all this stuff. Okay? And like that. And then just a smattering of radios. And what's the bed radio? This uh, Sharp GF8585. And this one here is a Toshiba, whatever it is, double cassette, double auto reverse. Just so I know where my Zentner batteries are at. These are, does it say Zentner on them? Well, I say Tizian. Anyway, so much for that. Those are the, okay. Uh, and then we've got laundry. And what was this? This was, this is where the other, okay. So that is, that's a 5080. Got my kaboom at my feet, okay. Got my, you know, half a feet and foot. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know what else I can show here. Just, that's it. Alright, so, there's those. Those are not for sale. Those are for sale. Those three. These are for sale. They've been for sale. Okay, I don't want to show that. Alright, so, that's it. Alright, so good day. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I hope I didn't bore you to death. Alright, and then we just run back in here. This is what I walk into. Like this. <laughs> Tripods, boom boxes. I wish this thing was wider, but there's my showy helmet for the KLR that I have. And I just have, you know, all these radios. As I fix them, they'll be for sale. And I advertise them on YouTube only. Alright, so like that, like that, like that, like that, like this. Let's see here. You know, down here is the TC999. You know, you know what that looks like, right? It's, there it is, for sale, been for sale, works. There's a Sansui CP77W. I've got two of those, I think. Yeah, here's the, wait, yeah, there's the other one, okay. And then I've got a couple of General Electrics. I've got, what, what are those, M70s, uh, 747, and i got all these other radios here. I even started putting radios in boxes just to preserve them better. Got these, I got the, I mean, you know, I'm tired of you acting about all this. I keep saying to people, it's all for sale, it's all here, it's just fixed as I fix them, I repair them. They're for sale. This one here, it works. It's weird because it's got a uh, dual channel subwoofer in the back. I thought that was just amazing. It actually has a dual voice coil subwoofer in the back of it. So, and it works. But I'm not here about this. It's just a super woofer. Yahoo. Okay. All right. So, and there's my Sony Rhythm. And I got another Sony Rhythm. I'm going to unbox that thing too because I want to put the Sony Rhythm in the closet. Oh, yeah. Let's go back to the closet. Let's see here. Let me get this. All right. Well, okay. I know I can go up to 38 minutes on this thing here. So, let me get this out of the way. All right. I'll just show you. Right, come on now. Behave. There you go. Don't move. Don't fall. Okay, so turn the light switch on. All right? There it's on now. And in the closet is my Denon Nakamichi and my Panasonic Reel to Reel. Okay? My tapes and other stuff. All right? And then in the other closet. What have we got in the other closet? In the other closet we got... Okay. And the other closet is that for sale, new in the box, unopened, sealed, all that. This is uh, Chris Tyler's Agent Orange um, uh, Sony 9000, CF9000, which I need to unbox because they found out the... Anyway, I can stand up a whole bunch of radios in here and get this big old massive thing out of here. That is not for sale, but there it is. And up there behind the 
brand new in the box Audiology Platinum uh, is a A38. Okay, now I'm done. Good night. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.